Hello everyone, I'm Rachel with Adventurous Heart and today I am on the Buckeye Trail. Remember, I am doing the little loop of the Buckeye Trail, a little over 200 miles, so similar to the John Muir Trail. So I'm getting started again here in Burton and just like any good adventure, restarting again, exactly how I started with the coffee corner, a nice bagel sandwich this time. Last time I had the pecan uh, crisps. So wherever your adventure takes you, make sure you have a fun snack along the way. But I am on the Buckeye Trail, starting with some natural surface and then it'll be a long road walk, but looking forward to getting back out there for a fun adventure. Join me as I discover some more fun in my backyard on the Buckeye Trail. Mm. Perfect way to start the morning. With breakfast or a yummy snack in hand, there's a beautiful park that you can take a little rest in. And then you can check out the cool log cabin. Uh, maple syrup is huge in this area. So definitely check out the cabin when it is open and learn a cool fun fact about Ohio. So this was the first telephone station in Ohio back in 1877. After checking that out, the route will continue down the road past this area. It'll be a little bit of natural surface and then road walking on Rapid Road. We'll see how rapid Rapid Road is. I don't think it's gonna be that rapid. After a short journey on the sidewalk, the trail turns into natural surface. You can see that beautiful blue blaze there. So we will continue through here to Rapid Road. If you've ever wondered exactly what poison ivy looks like, here you go. Again, three leaves. Two outer ones look like gloves with the thumb. The middle one looks like two thumbs put together. But unfortunately, this tree fell and had to cross it. So came along just to the side where I could get by without poison ivy. No big deal. Keep walking a little bit further ahead and dag on it. There is another tree down that has tons of poison ivy on it. Not the best way to start the morning, but we will figure it out. I know the Buckeye Trail volunteers are always hard at work clearing stuff like this. I feel sorry for them having to clear this, uh, but thank you for everyone who makes this trail possible. It's greatly appreciated. With very meticulous movements, I made it through the poison ivy patch. And as you continue to follow along on the Buckeye Trail, you are greeted with Memorial Cemetery. So you can take a little look through here if that's of interest to you. And then the trail continues along the way. A nice gravel path to walk on. Many of the tombstones actually date back to the 1800s, making them hard to read, uh, but kind of cool to be able to check out actually saw a groundhog running through the area as well. I think he scared me and uh, I scared him as well. We didn't expect each other. So he ran off, I think, to discover what else is out there on the Buckeye Trail. Don't let all that poison ivy scare you away. The trail opens up to a beautiful natural surface path and then goes past a field and you're presented with this beautiful little pond. So stop here, take a deep breath, <sighs> enjoy the fresh air and the beautifulness of the trail. And you'll see here's the cattail and not here, but if you ever run into a situation where you need a fire starter, the top of the cattail are perfect for that. Of course, starting a fire isn't needed for this tasty little treat. Check out these black raspberries growing alongside the trail. I think I might have to have one or two. A word to the wise though when eating these yummy yummy treats along the trail is to always look at your surroundings. Yes there's starting to become a theme to this hike today and that is the poison ivy. This tree is filled with vines. All of this looks like it would be tree leaves of the tree However, it is all poison ivy. You can even see that there are berries coming in with it. This is 
old and very full poison ivy. So before you take that yummy bite of that treat and pick it, look around to make sure you're not accidentally eating poison ivy or do wise because I've done it in the past and don't worry, you will not make that mistake twice as we continue on the beautiful Buckeye Trail. Rapids Road is just ahead. As you walk along Rapids Road, just be careful because there are a lot of curves and turns. Traffic's going pretty fast. And they don't always give you a lot of room. Right here, there's a little more room, but that's not always the case. And there's some big trucks. So just be careful on this section. It's been about four miles since I started going down Rapids Road here, you'll reach Eldon Russell Park. And if you ever get the chance to visit this park, definitely do so. It's part of the Giaga Park District, and it is near the start of the Cuyahoga River Water Trail. The end is near downtown Cleveland. Check out the Lake Erie Water Trail video that I have as well, and that is where the two connect. But here, if you discover the Cuyahoga River Water Trail, you'll just drive down this way. It's a bit of a hike to get back there, but beautiful Cuyahoga River. You can actually paddle up and down it at this point uh, because the water is pretty still. It's a beautiful place to paddle, so definitely come do that. I love it here, especially in late July. Lots of fireflies it can be a good evening paddle. So check out Eldon Russell Park if it's in your backyard. Otherwise, find a really cool place in your backyard to be able to paddle as well as hike. We're gonna keep heading down Rapids Road and as we head along Rapids Road, about two and a half miles, we'll come to uh, 422. And just down that is another place called Ledoux Reservoir, another great paddling hotspot around this area uh, that you can go paddle. So check out those two areas, the Upper Cuyahoga River and Ledoux Reservoir. One of the best things about having adventures on the Buckeye Trail is you never know exactly what you're going to find. So I was walking down Rapids Road and yes, it's a long straight road with lots of cars, lots of traffic and turns, but look at that. Yes, those are yummy, delicious, awesome blueberries. I have come upon Blue Jay Orchard. I walked up and said, what's going on? And they said, pick your own blueberries. So as you can see, I'm just getting started, but I am going to take this yummy little treat along with me as I continue down this long straight road. So always take advantage of all the cool, awesome opportunities that await you as you find new fun adventures. As for me, I'm gonna enjoy some blueberries. As I was picking blueberries, the other really cool thing I found was this milkweed. I love the smell of milkweed. <sighs> so always take time to stop and discover the cool things around you. Always take time to smell the flowers and enjoy your adventure. A little over nine miles in on the road today and sorry, feet time, but my left foot is getting a blister here. I can feel it. So it's what's known as a hot spot, meaning that it's not quite a blister yet. So to prevent that, so I can go another about 10 miles today, hopefully, I went ahead and taken what's known as moleskin. So you can just buy it in prepackaged items like this. So I always take moleskin with me. I'll end up putting some tape over it, some scissors to cut it with, make it a little bit easier. Just a quick first aid kit. And this is known as a donut hole inside of the moleskin. I'm gonna put some tape over it so it doesn't slide off while I'm hiking. But uh, go ahead and make sure you protect your feet. If you feel like you have a hot spot, take care of it before it becomes an issue. I think part of the issue today is um, I'm going a bit of mileage, but I also have some Gore-Tec or dry shoes, if you will. So that Gore-Tec inside of these shoes is making my feet sweat quite a bit. Uh, so I'm having a little bit of blister issues. So hopefully that moleskin will take care of it and I'll keep on trekking, but always carry uh, a little first aid kit with you on your adventures. All right, it is all taped up and ready to go. So I'll put my socks back on and get back on the trail. Finally made it off Rapid Road, and I must say the traffic is worse 
north of 422. It thins out quite a bit as you go south. Still have a bit of a road walk before I hit natural surface again, but here's a beautiful view of the Cuyahoga River. So if you get on at Eldon Russell that I talked about before, you can take a nice paddle down here. And there is a couple canoe deliveries. I've been having them pass me along the road uh, quite a bit. So it's uh, definitely busy out today, but let's keep taking it on, getting down the road little by little. Even though it's road, it's still fun, especially because I got blueberries. Okay, you know me. Not only do blueberries make it worth it, but little goats as well. Very cool sight to see. Once again, you never know where your adventures will take you. I decided to stop here and see what was going on and yeah, I found a few things. So my pack got a little heavier. I'll probably use it a little bit later on the trail. So make sure you stay tuned to see what it is. It's interesting to me, all the little things that happen in your life that remind you of your childhood, certain smells, certain sounds. And for me, it was walking on the road today and looking at the road. Check this out. Yes, it may seem silly to many of you, but I saw tar bubbles and I had the privilege of growing up on a road that had these little tar bubbles. And we would, okay, you're gonna think this is silly, but we would go ahead and pop them and you can see that the tar will just kind of ooze out of it. So yes, I lived in the country, maybe not a ton of things to do, but I'm excited to be able to play in the tar bubbles again. And yes, as I'm walking, check this out. You can see my footprint, it is a little soft. But those are the cool magical things that you find while you're out here on the Buckeye Trail. So wherever you are, whatever trail is close to you, go check it out and find something that reminds you of your childhood. And when you find it, comment below. I wanna hear about it. Here's some even bigger ones, watch out. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> so much fun. Can you hear that? The only bad thing is, kind of feels like I'm walking on honey. <laughs> So I'm loving all of the surprises on today's hike, set up on the side of the road, and cherry tomatoes caught my eye. Looks like I get another snack. The best thing about these oh, so delicious tomatoes is that as soon as I pop it in my mouth, it instantly reminds me of the John Muir Trail because we stopped at Mammoth. I should finish doing this, right? Right, don't talk with your mouth full. We stopped in Mammoth, and when we were there for a quick one day layover, we caught a movie in the movie theater. Of course, it was in the movie theater. And we, where it was really hot, and most people go ahead and sneak in candy, but because I'd been on the trail for about two weeks at that point, I was dying for some baby tomatoes and fresh fruit. So this is what I brought into the theater with me and instantly brought back, love it. Mm. It's amazing the little things that bring you back to all those fond memories. After almost 12 miles of road, it is back to natural surface on the Buckeye Trail. This will take us over to Camp Asbury. Within Camp Asbury, there's a beautiful ravine view on this natural surface trail. Loving hiking on a softer surface. All right, it's time for that special surprise of what did I buy at the garage sale? Yes, it is one of those Simply Fit boards. So now when I'm out on the trail, I can have a full body workout, work the legs, work the abs and be ready to go, right? Whatever your adventure is, make sure you discover it 
I think this will get me ready for a little bit of uh, stand up paddle boarding as well. So good uh, cross training while I'm out here. So super cool. I get to carry this with me uh, the rest of today, but it gives a nice little fun break as I enjoy all of the scenery out here. According to Gut Hook, if you're passing by, you can camp here, but you do need to reach out a couple weeks beforehand just to make sure they don't have their own summer camps going on. So cool little sites here at, at Camp Asbury. The walk through Camp Asbury is pretty cool. Not only are there natural surface trails, there's a disc golf course, of course, for the campers. Looks like a little retreat house up there and then a nice pond as well. So pretty views here along the Buckeye Trail. The Buckeye Trail crosses the Headwaters Trail, a nice towpath trail. And as it continues on, you are greeted with a cool waterfall. Check out this rock structure. Beautiful. Worth the long road walk today. Of course the blueberries and the garage sale and the tomatoes help. After checking out the waterfall, follow the Portage Park District's Headwaters Trail towards Manaway. The Headwaters Trail is primarily crushed limestone. Make sure you look all around you because you may just see a hornet's nest. And this one is pretty active. Not sure if you can see all those hornets, but I'm not getting any closer than this. The Headwaters Trail takes you into the Manawa Bog State Nature Preserve. So we will continue along. Just under two miles to go until I get to Manawa. So it's been a great day. My feet are feeling pretty good uh, where I had put the moleskin so that it would help with the blister. It's working really, really well. So I recommend that tip for you if you start to have a hot spot that feels like it's turning into a blister. Uh, so I was able to make it about 20 miles today. So Burton to Manawa uh, as I continue to go. Seeing how the theme of today has kind of revolved around fruits, might as well point out the awesome fun grapes growing along the Headwaters Trail. So let's see, we've had black raspberries, blueberries, tomatoes, and now grapes. I love it. All the fun discoveries. The Headwaters Trail is a rails to trails project. So used to be in conjunction with the railroads through this area and you might come along and see this and be like what in the world <laughs> at least that's what i said so this is actually before they had communication for the railroads and the switches ahead they would have communications in these little things so kind of cool history we are once again graced with the beautiful cuyahoga river Definitely gonna have to hit up this water trail in its entirety at some time, minus a few really tough sections. As we continue down the way, you'll see some really cool signage for the Buckeye Trail. Again, noting that it is part of multiple trails. The Buckeye Trail, the North Country National Scenic Trail, the American Discovery Trail. So, so many cool things to discover in your backyard in Ohio, as well as anywhere else, depending on where you live. Today's hike allowed me to end here at Manawa at one of the trails. So I'm headed south on 44 as well, where I will pick up next time, but had a beautiful 20 mile hike from Burton to Manawa on the Buckeye Trails. I continue to make 
that little northern loop of the Buckeye Trail. Super excited to have been able to find some more fun adventures, some blueberries, tomatoes, a nice little garage sale find. Uh, so I encourage you to get out and find your next adventure. If you love some of the adventures I have, I want you to continue to get some tips and tricks that you can do on your outdoor adventures or adventures with your pets. Go ahead and subscribe below for more tips and tricks. And really, I just encourage you to get out there and find the adventure that is in your heart, whatever it may be, and go have fun and enjoy. As for me, I'm gonna go check out my garage sale find.